Hello, hello, this is Joe from Nerd and Korea. We are continuing our budget motorcycles in our budget mechanics series, and we're looking at the new Kapena Charm Cycle. So these are all ultra budget, and so they're 20 cents or less. Usually my budget is $2 or less. This is way under, um, 20 cents and under, yeah. <clears throat> this is the complete new Kapena Charm Cycle. Uh, yeah, so this is all of them. These are using the shard tricolor. So once again, shard just means a color and it's ally colors. So on the color wheel, they're all put in a circle and the ones beside it basically. So yeah. These are jump in power from the previous charms. Okay, so yeah. These are definitely stronger than what we covered before with like the shards of Alara and things like that. I think these are maybe more niche, but more powerful. So I usually try to put these in order from what I think is the best wor or worst to best. Um, these are much more situational. I kept kind of like going back and forth being like, oh, maybe this is the best, that's the best. And I never really could settle on it. So I kind of just put them in, in order, I think is somewhat accurate, but really depends on the situation. Number five, Broker's Charm. Okay, this is our band. So a green, again, that's green, white, blue. Choose one. All right, so for three mana, you get these three options on all of them. They work this way. So target creature you control gets plus one, plus zero until end of turn. Eh. It deals damage equal to its, to, <clears throat> Sorry, equal to its power to target creature or planeswalker and opponent controls. Creature or planeswalker, first of all, damage boost and just does damage. This is not fight, right? This is not fight, this is just damage. Straight up damage. Um, this is basically removal and the flexibility of having creature or planeswalker is very, very nice. This is already kind of like an extra sneaky mode within the mode, I guess. Second up, destroy target enchantment. So basically, this can deal with creatures, planeswalkers, enchantments. Finally, draw two cards. Um, not many games you have where that won't come in handy. Okay, so yeah, this is the most expensive of the charms. I don't know if it's the best. The higher cost is likely due to the card draw option. I think the card draw option is what really yeah, drives the price up a bit. Um, it's still 20 cents, so I say drives the price up relative to the other ones. Anyway, 20 cents. Number four, <clears throat> Obscura Charm. So this is Esper. Again, that's white, blue, black. Um, blue being the main color and white and black being its uh, ally colors. Anyway, choose one. Return target multicolored permanent card with mana value three or less from your graveyard to the battlefield tapped. That recursion is something you just need in every deck. Um, it does specify it has to be multicolor and three mana value three or less, but you're paying three mana to get a three mana creature or permanent. Again, it's just permanent. I should not say creature because it is permanent. Um, so yeah, there's a whole lot that you can do with that. Um, it does have to be multicolored, which is a bit of a downside, but I think you're going to be able to find a use for that. Counter target instant or sorcery spell. This is expensive for a counter spell, right? Three for a counter spell is a bit high, but it's also like you don't have to have two blue open, so maybe that kind of works out nicely. Um, so if you have like an arcane signet and then a plains and a, a swamp untapped, people might not expect you to bust out a counter spell. So um, I think that's kind of nice actually. And again, those sorceries are something to have a little extra counter ability for, I think. Take those board wipes out. And finally, destroy target creature or planeswalker with mana value three or less. That's really good, especially for planeswalkers, because three mana value three or less, it doesn't care about like its loyalty or anything like that. So that's quite nice. Anyway, three cents. Number three, 
Riveteer's Charm. Okay, so we're getting to the black, red, um, green. I can never remember what this one is called. With white, it's Naya, but it's not Naya. Um, 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 um. Anyway, I can't remember right now, of course, because my brain sucks. Choose one. All right, so once again, target opponent sacrifices a creature or planeswalker they control with the highest mana value among creatures and planeswalkers they control. So they have to sacrifice. Again, sacrifice gets around things like indestructible. Indestructible doesn't matter if you're sacrificing, right? So yeah. This is maybe not as good as like exiling, but taking out their like most expensive thing, especially in a multiplayer game, you're going to find a use for this that really hits someone else really hard. It's going to be worth the three mana. Exile the top three cards of your library until end of next end step, you may play those cards. Again, just play, not cast. So if there's land, great, you can play the land from there. Um, and yeah, it gives you the extra turn. So even if you've used a lot of mana to cast this and maybe you don't have a le enough left over, the next turn you're still set up for. So yeah, that is quite nice. And finally, Exile Target Player's Graveyard. This is something you need to have in decks. Decks often do not have graveyard hate, right? Get that graveyard hate in there. Um, this is really nice because it is so flexible and it's graveyard hate where you're not like committing to graveyard hate. So I think a lot of players can uh, justify that a bit more easily. Two whole cents. Number two, Maestro's Charm. Okay, so we are getting into our Grixis now. Uh, blue, black, red. Choose one, look at the top five cards of your library, put one of those cards into your hand and the rest into your graveyard. That might sound like kind of a bad thing, but there's so many decks where like, if you've got Delve, if you've got anything that relies on different card types being in your graveyard, um, this is an amazing card to have. Cause really what you might want to do is just get things into your graveyard. Uh, any deck where you are actually wanting things in your graveyard, this is incredible, right? It's card draw plus put whatever you want in your graveyard. Um, yeah. Second mode, each opponent loses three life and you gain three life. Okay, each opponent loses three life. That's the important thing to pay attention to there. So yeah, again, if you're playing commander, if you're playing four player, that's hitting three people for three mana for three damage. That's three lightning bolts, basically. The economy on that is amazing. And uh, the three life gain is really nice too, because a lot of effects where that will trigger off of life gain will trigger off of that. So yeah, that is the three life you need most of the time. Finally, Maestro's Charm, deal five damage to target creature or planeswalker. Um, that's usually enough to remove it, right? That's pretty much a removal spell. Um, maybe not explicitly, but it'll get the job done, I think. Anyway, 13 cents. Oh, please hit like and subscribe. It makes a big difference. Number one. Cabaretti Charm. Uh, this is our Naya for real. Uh, red, green, white. <clears throat> So choose one, Cabaretti Charm deals damage equal to the number of creatures you control to target creature or planeswalker. I wish it said player. If it said to any target, this would be just like a bonkers card. But yeah, basically, again, we're doing that kind of weird creature or planeswalker removal. It is nice to have the options. And even if you're not taking the planeswalker out, you can stop it from being able to activate some abilities, which is still very useful, right? Um, creatures you control get plus one plus one and gain trample until end of turn. Create two one one green and white citizen creature tokens. Okay, I don't care about that one, right? Three mana for two one one tokens actually is not a great deal, but creatures you control get plus one plus one. Eh, it is all creatures though, and gain trample. The gaining trample is the uh, real winner there. If you've got some kind of token deck, that's also amazing. Cause even that plus one, plus one, if you've got like, you know, 15 tokens, plus one, plus one and trample, that's just gonna be doing like 
a decent amount of damage right there. Anyway, five whole cents. The list. Okay, Broker's Charm is 20 cents. Obscure Charm is 3 cents. Riveteer's Charm is 2 cents. Maestro's Charm is 13 cents. And Cabaretti Charm is 5 cents. Um, it's crazy to me that these are so cheap. Um, I feel like they shouldn't be. They are definitely a step up from the previous ones and their price is not a big bump up. So anyway, take it easy.